Few things are more polarizing than politics, religion, one wheel versus EUC, and the raising of a pet tiger. In today's video, I'm going to tell you why we love to compare, but we need to stop it when it comes to comparing the one wheel to electric unicycles. Let me ask you this. Have you ever been locked in a cage full of tigers? I haven't. But I imagine it's much like being quarantined in a house with three know-it-all teenagers and their baby sister, who they've trained to act like a know-it-all teenager. All teenagers want to do while in quarantine is to eat, sleep, play video games, and fight, just like a cage full of tigers. One minute, the big cats are lazily sleeping and lounging, and the next minute they're roaring and screaming, trying to tear each other into pieces. <laughs> tigers, teenagers, there's a lot of similarities here. When tempers flare, phrases get thrown around our home like hand grenades. That's not fair, they'll say. Or, you don't understand. Or, my favorite, stop comparing. Teens hate it when you compare them to their more accomplished peers and siblings. So why do we do it? Because it's human nature to compare, and it's easy to do. But is comparing the right thing to do? For some reason, the one wheel and EUC often get compared to one another. Ask about the one wheel in an EUC discussion group or vice versa, and you'll be treated like a zookeeper with sardines in your shoes while locked in a tiger cage. The natives will tear you to pieces. It's easy to see the similarities between the two products, though. They both have one rad wheel, they both use gyroscopes to stabilize, and they both are a ton of fun. But the similarities stop there. To beat the tiger analogy to death, I'm going to share with you two beasts that I thought were mythical, but they actually do exist. The liger, which is a cross between a male lion and a female tiger, and the tigon, which is a cross between a male tiger and a female lion. Go ahead, pause the video, head over to Wikipedia if you don't believe me. Ligers and tigons are real. The one wheel is what you get when you leave an EUC and an electric skateboard in the trunk of your car for too long. While the EUC and electric skateboard are both very different and rarely get compared to each other, the one wheel shares similarities with both. The one wheel may have one gyroscopic wheel like the EUC, but that's just about the only trait the one wheel inherited from daddy EUC. The one wheel gets a lot of its looks and mannerisms from its mother, the skateboard. Think about the way you ride and carve on it. When I refer to my one wheel, I often call it a board, because that's what it is. A fun, stoke machine that's more bored than wheel. With the sideways stance, the one wheel is a board sport simulating the stoke of skateboarding, snowboarding, surfing. You don't need smooth pavement or fresh powder. You don't need the ocean to enjoy it. When I refer to my EUC, I often call it a wheel because that's what it is. A speed and range machine that's mostly wheel. With its forward facing stance, the EUC simulates downhill skiing or having superhuman speed like The Flash or Superman. The one wheel and EUC share some of the same DNA, but both are very different and unique devices. I've said it before and I'll say it again. These devices are not mutually exclusive. If you own one, that doesn't mean you can't learn about the other or even try it. And it certainly doesn't mean that you have to hate the other. Just because both devices have one wheel or a mono wheel, that doesn't mean the relationship with those devices have to be monogamous. <laughs> I, for one, will forever love the one wheel because it opened up a world of electric rideable devices for me. I know plenty of diehard one wheel fans that have crossed over to the EUC. Many love and continue to ride both. I know some folks that have sold their one wheels and now own multiple EUCs. And I know some folks that tried the EUC, couldn't figure it out or it just didn't click and they ended up selling it or returning it. Haters gonna hate no matter what you do. And you can do that because with the internet, you can do whatever you want to do and you can be whatever you want to be. It's just funny that most people choose to be trolls on the internet. Like the guy that subscribed to my channel that gives my videos a thumbs down, usually within the first hour of publishing. 
It's a free country, do what you want. But in my book, if you haven't given a serious attempt at riding both devices, and when I say a serious attempt, I mean 100 miles under your belt for both devices, then I don't think it's fair for you to criticize the opposing party. But since I have well over 100 miles of experience on both devices, I'm going to upset my angst-filled teenage kids and compare to my heart's delight. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you can look out for future videos comparing my one wheels to my EUCs, as well as more in-depth reviews of the different EUCs that we ride. While lions, tigers, ligers, and tigons are curious, fascinating, unique creatures, similar to some of the strange electric devices that I love to ride, just because I own a liger doesn't mean I can't own a Tigon. Now to address the question that a lot of you are wondering. In fact, I'm sure someone is typing this question in the comments right now. Which one do I like better? Well, the answer should be obvious. The Liger, of course. It's an amazing hybrid cat that will outgrow both parents and is the largest known big cat in the world. If your question is, which device do I like better? It depends on the kind of ride I'm going on. I will say that in most cases, when I go to grab a device for a mindless unplanned ride, I pick the EUC because I don't have to worry about range or speed. When I'm just fooling around in the neighborhood with the kids, I pick the one wheel because the sideways stance is fun and I can pretend to be cool for a little bit. And if I need to do any serious travel where speed and distance are factors, then I definitely pick the EUC. When I travel, I ride the one wheel because with SupRents.com, their service allows me to rent a one wheel and have it delivered wherever I'll be in the continental US. Thanks for watching till the end. If this video felt a little different from my other videos, it's because I've been doing a master class on writing during some of my free time, and I'm using some of the techniques that I learned from that class to write this script. I've always enjoyed creative writing, so this was a fun project for me. Yes, I'm a nerd, I know, but I embrace my nerdiness. I think it's important to be creative and to try new things. Kind of like what I've been talking here about the one wheel and the EUC. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thanks for the support, be safe, and remember, never dip your shoes in sardine oil before going near a tiger.